Hey, I'm Ken, I run the channel Stacked EDH, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Crarculator, an app designed specifically for pilots of the Commander deck helmed by Crark the Thumbless and Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. Now let's imagine that we control this board state, Crark the Thumbless, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, which has become a Crark the Thumbless, Crark's Thumb, and some mana. Let's imagine that we tap our snow-covered mountain and cast a right of flame. That's gonna trigger both our Krarks, and because of Krark's thumb, we'll roll two dice instead of one die for each Krark trigger. Now we could do this manually. We could use some dice or flip some coins, but we might just wanna generate as much mana as possible. This is where the Krarkulator steps in. We can tell the app what our board state is. That's the tab in the bottom left here. Right now we control two Krarks, one Krark's thumb, then, if you tab over to the Spell tab, we can say what the details of our spell are. We're casting a Rite of Flame. It costs one red, and it would produce two red. It's not creating any Krark copies or thumb copies, for instance, but those options are there for the various copy spells in the deck. We have one red mana in our mana pool, and the spell is in our hand. If we tab over, we go to the status screen. This shows you how much mana is in your mana pool, treasures created, where the spell in question is, what your storm count is, and how many copies of the spell have resolved. The final tab is the triggers tab. This shows you how many triggers you have and lets you walk through each Krark trigger manually as well as do so automatically. So in our case, let's say we wanna cast Rite of Flame until we can't cast it any longer. We can click this button here to tell the app to cast the spell until it copies completely going to the graveyard or until the app has taken 100 actions. So in this case, we'll cast Rite of Flame as many times as possible. We'll tell the app to begin now. We have seven mana on our mana pool, zero treasures, the spell is in the graveyard, and if we go back to the status screen, we will have cast Rite of Flame four times, and five copies will have resolved, but we've used some of that red mana in our pool to continue to cast the spell. So this is a relatively simple example of what the app can do. We can also see in the top left corner, the app knows that we're trying to cast Rite of Flame. It also has information and details for other spells stored. You can also save a spell so that if you have a ritual specifically that you're casting like a Jeska's Will and say it'll generate you five mana, you can input that information and save it as J Will five. Here we can roll a d20, roll a d6, or flip a coin. And finally, the tab on the right provides key info and background information about the app in question. But let's say our board state is a little bit more complicated. We'll click in the top right and reset all the values. Let's say we have three Krarks, a Veyron, and a Harmonic Prodigy, and a Tavern Scoundrel. Let's just say that we're casting a Rite of Flame until we can't cast it anymore. And we have six mana in our pool, and again, two treasures hanging out. Let's cast that Rite of Flame until we can't cast it anymore and see how much mana we have. We now have 88 mana in our pool, 96 treasures. The Rite of Flame is still in hand. We've resolved 47 copies and our storm count is 12. The app stopped and didn't keep going because again, it took 100 actions. So as you can see, we can keep doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. This way we can quickly and easily demonstrate to our opponents that we essentially have an arbitrary amount of mana. The Crarculator app is free in the Android store. It will also soon be available in the App Store for iOS. If you'd like to ask questions about piloting Crark and Sakashima or using the app, jump into the Discord server for this Commander Duo. You can find it from my primer called Siskel and Ebert on Moxfield. The Discord server is linked near the top. It's a lovely community, and we'd love to see you there. Thanks so much, and good luck.